So we felt it was time to do another community update for our maths and our student hub. Here we are in the senior school quiet carriage, as we're calling it. There'll soon be a wall that we'll go through to separate this space from what is being called the incubator space, a study area nestled within the trees that will suit um, the learners from our senior school. Just been speaking to year 12 and they're particularly keen to get into this space. Welcome to 2023. Our friends from Build Corp have been doing the most remarkable job to advance the building. The roof is nearly finished. Um, so much of the classroom fit out, as I'll share with you in a few moments, is well advanced now. And we're at that stage of the construction where from the outside, you won't see much, but there's an enormous amount of work going on on the inside. The facade is nearly complete uh, with some really marvelous geometric uh, features um, to help us understand that the purpose of this building is about mathematics and understanding shape. More to the point, uh, you'll also see um, the articulation of this building settling comfortably in the landscape, speaking to Rosewood uh, in, a, in a kind of respectful dialogue between the architectural designs and then relating to the rest of the campus. Uh, let's go upstairs now as we go through the student study area here, the incubator, and we're going to go up and see some of the mathematics classrooms that are soon to be occupied by our students. So we're walking through the incubator now. There'll be a, enough space here for well over 100 students to just sit and learn, maybe in groups, maybe singly if they want to work in silence, the quiet carriage is for them. You see the set of stairs behind the excellent Dave uh, that will take students up to their classrooms. Um, forgive the little bit of noise, but we're now going to go through the breezeway that connects these two buildings together. And the really interesting thing to see in the breezeway is, is how the space will relate to the avenue and Rosewood down under Phipps and to Main Oval. Interestingly too, as I'll show you now, um, the ceiling soffit treatment in the breezeway here will have a piece of Yonghu art from our traditional indigenous community in northeast Arnhem Land. I'll just show you where that's going to be in a few weeks time. So this is the breezeway. To the east is the slope leading up to the avenue. And to the west across here is Phipps and Taylor Field and to the main oval. Above us here in the ceiling treatment is going to be the most magnificent rendering of a lovely piece of indigenous art. Just to remind us that this was not the first building on this site, nor was it that we are the first people to have been here. We honor the past and we build the future together. So just inside the breezeway, as you enter this building, the bathrooms and amenities for our students and a lift car which is just being installed. I'm quite excited to see that. We've been waiting for some time. There were significant delays out of China and it's great to see that in here. Just come down here with me a little bit because uh, we will see here the student lounge just coming into shape. Uh, this will be a place where students can just relax, uh, sit comfortably, a little bit like, more like a lounge and right beside it here is a new kitchen uh, and a cafeteria facility. So the students will be able to do exactly what they want. They study, um, enjoy the comforts of this place, get some work done, have some conversation in all in different ways that suit them. We're going to go upstairs and see some classrooms. So one of the really lovely things that uh, the architects intended to do was to make sure that, that these timber beams were all exposed uh, and that we get that sense of natural uh, fragrance. In fact, we're smelling the pine uh, very clearly from up here now. And I'm told this will last for a little while um, after the fragrance of students uh, comes in to maybe interfere a little bit. But we really love this sense of, of place and the natural elements around us, but still enjoying uh, the kind of privacy that classrooms need to be able to focus on their work. We've got a classroom down here that I'd like to show you that uh, the, the builders have mocked up to make it look a little bit like what we will see when we, when we finally open. Uh, that connects straight from uh, Finlay Walk, straight through this building and the classrooms either side. I just want to take you into this classroom on this level. You can see it's quite well advanced with the fit out that we will enjoy. You can see the short throw projector, um, 
the AC units, even some lighting bars that are in place. What's really successful about this space is a few things, but in particular, uh, I really love the way the louvers direct the air flow comfortably into the room. And inside the room, uh, I, I can feel this in a way that maybe can't be captured in the audio of, of a screen like this, but um, the, the acoustic treatment is excellent. Um, you've got the exposed timbers, um, but there is uh, a separation of the spaces so that there should be no real uh, sound leakage from one room to another. Um, this will be a lovely room in which to learn. And this whole eastern wall of this classroom will be glass from floor to ceiling. Uh, the timber all exposed, as I mentioned, and then straight through what looks to be quite a punishing western sun, but it's tempered by the wonderful louvers and the really interesting facade treatment that will throw some interesting shadow and light through into the building. Again, a math space that's full of angles and full of the vitality of light as it comes into the space. We're not turning our back on the world, um, but we are nevertheless managing our environment to maximize the capacity of students to learn. Um, so we're pretty excited about the progress and uh, the end is beckoning us to come. Uh, so we've just come straight opposite that classroom I just shared with you to the classroom on the eastern side the one that's closest to this lovely old oak tree that we cherish so much and we've protected in the construction process. Again, to see how the geometry of the building works, you've still got the facade angles um, working very visibly. From outside, it looks like it's a, a closed in space. From inside, the light shines through whilst they still enjoy the timber outside and the timber inside. It's a really successful design. What's really interesting here on this third level uh, is the way in which the floor is working. It conceals an awful lot of services that are going on underneath. Uh, all the magic that we don't see uh, once the building is, is laid down. Of course, there'll be carpet on the floor in here. Uh, once that's down, all the services, the data, the power, all the things that we need to run the building actually are concealed below these four floors. So you're getting quite a nice little sneak backstage view of, of the construction process which I'm very grateful for. You can see down the hallway the progress that uh, the team has made to get us this far. We are standing straight at the top of the stairs onto level three. Again, that same outlook onto the avenue, this spine that runs through the school from the avenue straight across to College Crescent is still revealed through the building. Um, so the building doesn't dominate, but it lends itself to the life of the school. Now, to the great alarm of all the students, I'm standing in the maths staff room right here. Mm -hmm. Beside them is the maths resources room and over on the western side is where the head of maths um, and a few meeting rooms for the maths and then a comfort and uh, uh, common area for maths staff. Um, it's what I was saying before, the, the geometry of the building really helps. It's built on this grid, but outside to relieve the box feeling um, Architect has designed these really quite interesting panels and those are still quite exposed on the inside but from the outside it looks quite private. And so I think this will be a lovely place for students to come and visit their maths teachers and the teachers to be able to access all their classrooms on these two levels. Uh, and overall the impact with the natural environment, the natural light, the ease of access uh, the simplicity of um, providing support for different parts of the school should really make the building as successful as we're hoping it will be. The last thing to share with you is the dining commons. So let's go down and have a look at that as we finish. catering team are very excited about the new kitchen that's coming in behind. This will have accommodation for between 150 and 200 students at any one time to sit comfortably. Points of sale just near where I am here. The student lounge which I mentioned was just behind me uh, and to the right and then Rosewood Field and the Rosewood Centre just in front of me to the south. Um, so we're all excited about this coming. We're incredibly impressed and grateful to Build Corp for the outstanding progress that's been made. There's still a long way to go, but you know what? I think the finish line's in sight.